Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about how to create a poll and send a poll to your students while conducting a Microsoft Teams meeting. In this video, I'm starting in the middle of a Microsoft Teams meeting presentation. If you are not sure how to set up a Microsoft Teams meeting with your students or how to start a presentation with your students, please revisit part one and part two in this series. Once I'm in the middle of a presentation and I would like to create a poll to send to my students, I can come into the chat area as if I were going to send a chat message to my students. To send a poll, I'm going to come down here along the bottom of the chat area and click these three dots here to find the different apps that I can push out to my students through Microsoft Teams. And I'm going to pick a form. This option to create a poll is going to open up so I can go ahead and create my question. And then I can create any options I would like. If I would like to add more options, I can click this Add Option button. And I can add as many options as I would like. When I'm ready to push this poll to my students, I can decide whether or not they can target multiple answers, and I can hit Next. I'm going to get a little preview of what my poll will look like for my students, and I'll click Send. In just a second, this poll will pop up in the chat here and students will have the option to submit a vote to the chat and they will see a breakdown of how the different classmates have voted. So I'll go ahead and vote as a teacher. I want my students to take care of their device and I'll be able to see as student results come in, I'll be able to see the total number of responses. I can go ahead and leave this in the chat for my students and I can continue to watch those results come in and I can continue on with my presentation when I'm done with this poll. If after the class has ended, I would like to go back and I would like to see how individual students answered, I can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and end this meeting, and I am going to end it formally so that my students aren't lingering behind. And then once I end this meeting, the poll has also been closed, so I can minimize Teams, and I'm going to go into Office 365. As a reminder, you can go to the district app portal to access your Office 365. And one of my little tiles here in my Office 365 homepage is Forms. I'm going to go ahead and click on Forms, and that is going to open up Microsoft Forms for Office. And we'll see here all of my previous forms load up, and you'll notice that one of these looks familiar. Here's my What is Your Favorite Way to Be a Good Digital Student form that I posted earlier in the chat. I'll go ahead and click on that. That is going to load up my question and my different options here. And if I want to see the responses, because we can see here this is a quick poll, so it can't be edited, we just can see it. But if I want to see my responses, I can come into responses here, and I can see the different results. I'm going to get a summary result with how everybody answered. If I would like to see more fine-grained results, I can click View Results. And this is going to allow me to see how each individual student or participant responded. If I click back, I could also download a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet with the same data for me. So I'll click open in Excel and you'll see a download started here. I can go ahead and click on that download and when it's finished, it will open up the same data in Microsoft Excel. So here we can see the start time, the completion time, who completed this and what their answer was to my poll. And that's a quick video on how to create a poll in Microsoft Teams, how to see those poll results, and how to download a copy of those results if you would need them. Thank you for watching.